Okay, so today we've been looking at cell organelles, and now we're going to look at them in a little bit more detail, starting with the animal cell organelles. So let's begin with the cell membrane, which is a thin, flexible barrier surrounding the outside of the cell that separates the outside world from the inside of the cell and controls what can and cannot enter or exit the cell. Then we have the cytoplasm, and the cytoplasm is a jelly-like substance which all the other organelles that we're going to look at in this video are suspended in or float in. Next we have the nucleus. The nucleus contains genetic material called DNA. It is also known as the control center of the cell because the nucleus is the organelle which tells all the other organelles what to do. The nucleus is surrounded by the nuclear membrane and the nuclear membrane, similar to the cell membrane that we talked about earlier, controls what can and cannot enter or exit the nucleus. Inside the nucleus is an organelle called the nucleolus. The nucleolus's function is to produce ribosomes, which are organelles that we're going to look at a little bit later in the video. Next we have the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Uh, the rough endoplasmic reticulum is a series of flattened membrane sacs where different materials and substances are produced for the cell and then transported to the Golgi body, which is another organelle we're going to look at later on. Then we have the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, which again is a bunch of flattened membrane sacs. But this is where lipids or fats are produced and then toxins or toxic substances are broken down. Then we have the ribosomes, which we spoke of earlier, and their primary role is to produce proteins. They're highly concentrated on the outside of the rough endoplasmic reticulum, giving it a rough texture, which is where it gets its name from, but they can also be found throughout the cell. Then we have the Golgi body. The Golgi body's role is to package materials and substances from the endoplasmic reticulum and transport them wherever they are needed in the cell or outside the cell to other cells. Then we have the mitochondria. The mitochondria are considered to be the powerhouses of the cell because they are the organelle where cellular respiration takes place. Cellular respiration is the process where energy is produced to fuel the cell. Then we have the vacuole. The vacuole is essentially an empty sac which can be used for storage of different substances such as water, salts, minerals and proteins. In animal cells, vacuoles are quite small. Finally, we have the lysosomes. Lysosomes are an organelle which contain digestive chemicals, which can break down any waste in the cell. They can also break down any organelles which stop functioning correctly, so they're considered to be the cleaners of the cell. Now let's compare the animal cell organelles with the plant cell organelles. Like the animal cell, plant cells have a cell membrane, which is the barrier which controls what can and can't enter, and a cytoplasm, which is the jelly that all the other organelles are suspended in, a nucleus, which is the control center of the cell, a nuclear membrane, which surrounds the nucleus and controls what enters it, a nucleolus, which produces ribosomes, a rough endoplasmic reticulum, where substances are produced and transported to the Golgi body, a smooth endoplasmic reticulum where lipids are produced and toxic substances are broken down, ribosomes which produce proteins, a Golgi body which packages and transports different materials around the cell and outside the cell, mitochondria where cellular, cellular respiration takes place, and a vacuole, which in plant cells is considerably larger than in animal cells, but still functions in the same way in that it stores water. 
Plant cells, however, have two other organelles, the first being a chloroplast, which contains chlorophyll and is the site where photosynthesis takes place. Photosynthesis, as we know, is the process where plants convert energy from sunlight into energy that can fuel the cell. Plant cells also have a cell wall. The cell wall is a rigid structure that surrounds the cell membrane and provides support and shape to the cell. You may have noticed that animal cells contain lysosomes, but plant cells don't. Plant cells very rarely contain lysosomes. If you have any questions about this video, feel free to post them on the blog on the final page of this website. Otherwise, also feel free to re-watch this video 